So in this video I'm going to talk about uh, some, posture, some signs of reverence that are used in the Mass in, in the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, so we have the genuflection, right knee touching the ground, a bow of the body, bowing from the waist, and a bow of the head, where the head is bowed. Genuflecting to the Blessed Sacrament and bowing to the altar. Sometimes the sanctuary in the church will have an altar, but not a tabernacle. Without the tabernacle, the Blessed Sacrament is not present. In this case, there will be no genuflection, except by the priest, twice during the Eucharistic prayer, when the bread and wine become the Blessed Sacrament. Also, the priest genuflects before receiving communion. But bows are made to the altar. From the Ceremonial of Bishops, number 72, quote, a deep bow is made to the altar by all who enter the sanctuary, brackets, chancel, close brackets, leave it or pass before the altar, end of quote. There is an exception to this which the ceremonial of bishops has in number 70. Quote, neither a genuflection nor a deep bow is made by those who are carrying articles used in the celebration, for example the cross, candlesticks, the book of the gospels. End of quote. This, is, this exception has been modified slightly in the 2010 General Instruction of the Roman Missal, number 274. Quote, ministers carrying the processional cross or candles bow their heads instead of genuflecting. End of quote. What about when the ta there is a tabernacle with the Blessed Sacrament? The Ceremonial of Bishops has a similar rule in number 71. Quote, those who pass before the Blessed Sacrament genuflect, except when they are walking in procession, end of quote. But this has been modified by the third edition of the Roman Missal, the English translation being the 2010 edition. And in the general instruction of the Roman Missal number 274, it has, quote, if however the tabernacle with the most blessed sacrament is situated in the sanctuary, the priest, the deacon and the other ministers genuflect when they approach the altar and when they depart from it, but not during the celebration of Mass itself." End of quote. Uh, to explain that a little bit, at the beginning of Mass, the priest, the deacon and the ministers come forward in procession to the altar, and at the end of Mass they depart from the altar in a similar procession.